hey guys so i want to talk a little bit about my mini twist challenge because i'm not sure if you guys heard of the youtuber indigenous strands and her hair is like waist length so i was like girl because you already know her name's cc so this is cc you know everybody meets cc i got her under here under some deep conditioner doing some self-love, doing some self-care. So I bumped into Indigenous Strands YouTube page because I've been on like this natural hair journey forever. We're gonna go into all of that. So I big chopped like three times. We're, we're gonna get into all of that. I'm not big chopping anymore. And I mean that. You hear me? You're not big chopping ever again. Just had to double check with myself. <laughs> but anyway, so I came across, you know, because, you know, the craze in the natural hair community is waist length. And, you know, indigenous strands, she has thigh length hair. So what she does is the barely locked method. Essentially, it's like where you wear mini twists and you moisture your hair with aloe vera. You moisture your hair with flaxseed oil. I mean, excuse me, flaxseed gel and she uses what's that black castor oil and she also for the ends well for the whole hair but she really uses it mostly like really to soak the ends and then she uses the olive olive oil as well so i was doing the barely locked method for a month and I'm going to be honest with you, like, there's definitely, like, pros and cons to the Barely Lock method. So, we're going to start with the pros first. So, the pros are where I could just get up and go and I didn't really have to do my hair because my hair was already, like, in twists. So, that's something that was definitely a pro because all I had to do was right here, you know what I'm saying, take my spray bottle, spray, spray, spray. But what I would really do is when I was in a shower, I would just, like you know, wet it a little bit and put the, you know, the moisturizer and everything like that. But see, the thing is, she didn't wet her hair, but unfortunately I did. And it's like, when you wet your hair, it's like the twists become ugly faster and they become looking old faster. And it was like, literally after about like a week and a half, my twists look old and like raggedy and dingy. And I was just like, ugh. I thought we were talking the pros first, even though we are. So, like I said, well, one of the cons was, like I said, after about a week and a half, my twist looked really like raggedy and stuff like that. So another pro, very low manipulation hairstyle. And I'm all about the low manipulation hairstyles because I definitely want my hair to grow. Like I decided I'm going to do like this six month natural hair six month six inches because i can do it i'm gonna show y'all my little vision board of you know my my future hair is six months y'all because i'm definitely gonna stop playing i'm definitely gonna take care of my hair so another pros was it was easy to wash while i'm in a twist because like as of like getting to know my hair, it's easier to wash my hair and twist anyway. But because I was had the mini twists in, it was even easier to like wash my hair without like, you know, combing it and da da da. But the cons now. So like some of the cons were like my twists ended up getting like matted up together and stuff like that. Like even though I know indigenous strength, she literally does her hair like every day like so literally at least every other day there's a new twist being done so it's like granted i didn't do that i just let the hairstyle like essentially rock the twist in for three weeks let it get all old and ugly and crazy take them all out and then redo them all again and that's another con oh my god the last time i went to take my twist out and redo them again it literally took me two days like because i have one i did them small 
and then I started, I started me, I did like four hours, four or five hours day one. Like it was like five hours day one and like six hours or something like that. Like five another hours day two. It was like a lot, literally like a lot. So I decided, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take the twist out. So that's what I did. So I did the, the twist. Um, I did the mini twist challenge for a month. Now I'm going to switch over because you can even like look at my previous videos. Like those are the twists that I had in my hair, you know. So I was going strong with the mini twist challenge, but I'm going to like modify it a little bit. I'm going to change it to a mini braid challenge. So I'm essentially going to wear box braids in my real hair for the whole year. That's going to be like my goal. And we're going to see like how long my hair grows. So in an upcoming very near video i'm going to do a limb check because like i said i am washing it whatever now so probably after i wash out my hair and wash you know this stuff off my face i'll probably do a limb check video to see like where we are now but i'm going to continue to do the indigenous strands method but i'm gonna do with braids instead because I did the mini, I'm going to show you guys some pictures of me. Hopefully, I'll be able to find one. Maybe not. But I was doing the mini braids challenge when I lived in Africa. Oh, we're going to talk about that. But when I lived in Africa and I noticed, like, you know, I wasn't moisturizing my hair at all, which is really, really stupid of me because my hair would have been, like, super long by now. I just had it like it was just so damn dry like my hair was like a brittle it was so dry but it was growing like I even noticed like it was growing because even that I even though I wasn't moisturizing my hair I was able to retain a little bit more length because I was leaving my hair alone so but now you know, I got my spray bottle, I got my olive vera, I got everything ready. I got my finally I got my flag seeds. I unfortunately ran out of black castor oil, but I do have my olive oil. So I'm going to definitely, you know, take care. I brought a new set and bomb it. Eh? Because listen, it's not a game. Waist length. Here I come. So who else wants to join me? Let's do it together so we can definitely keep each other like... You know what I'm saying? Keep each other motivated because another thing, like, I came up with some dope styles and I'm definitely going to share because, like, one thing I'm going to be honest with, like, the mini twist hairstyle, it wasn't, like, I'm going to keep it real. It wasn't fancy enough for me, to be honest. So, I prefer, like, a, a fancier hairstyle. So, I ended up, you know, I hooking them up. If you go, like, maybe, like, a video or two back, you see how I have, like, my crown and everything with that crown i also had like my mini twists but there's gonna be so many hairstyles even though i'm gonna do the mini braids you can still mini twist it mini braids like we're all on this channel challenge together it's all about like low manipulation because honestly like i realized like last year you know i wanted my hair to grow right so i always have my hair in cornrows I left my hair alone, left my hair alone, cornrows. My hair was like broke off in like the front. So in like the front, my hair is literally like this short. It looks ridiculous. So I'm sitting here like I was looking and I'm like, why? It's like my hair grew and then started breaking off. So it's just like I'm moving backwards and I should not be moving backwards. I should be moving forward. So, but... That is my challenge. I hope you ladies join me. Follow me on Instagram at all things cheat. Wait, sorry, that's underscore all things cheat underscore all things cheat. And then tell me, like, we're gonna do this challenge together because you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's now, it's time. Like, it's time. It's time. You understand? So. I'll see you guys later. Always remember, spread love, spread kindness, and namaste.